Hey, it's Patrick Grosser with the 513 Flat Fee Real Estate Group at Fathom Realty. You may have heard about our premium flat fee listings through a postcard in your mailbox recently. We'll talk more about those in just a second, but first we're going to look at the Cincinnati real estate market news for this past week and compare it to the same week last year. First of all, new listings are down 26%, closings are down 29%, average sale price is up 4%, average days on market is up 30%, Total inventory is at 67 days and active inventory is at 29 days. So although it still is a seller's market, low inventory, uh, we do have less demand from buyers than we have recently, uh, certainly compared to last year, even just a few months ago. So it is more difficult right now for sellers to sell quickly for top dollar, to find the right buyer for their home, to get the right price in terms for the sale of their home. So if you're thinking about selling your home, you definitely need a more sophisticated marketing approach than you had a few months ago or certainly even last year. Uh, but you don't have to pay a 6% commission to get that approach. It actually comes standard with our premium flat fee listings. You don't have to sacrifice the quality of the service you receive. We simply have a better business model where we can save thousands of dollars and we can share that savings with our clients. So if you'd like to learn more about our service and to find out how much you can save when you sell your home, visit our site at 513flatfee.com. If you're thinking about buying a home, you're probably already aware that interest rates are around the high sixes, almost 7%, uh, depending on when you check. So certainly not as favorable as they were when they were in the threes and the fours. Um, so some people think it's not a good time to buy a home because money is not as cheap to borrow as it was uh, just recently. However, if you look into some personal finance gurus like Dave Ramsey and some others, um, or if you just kind of think about common sense in terms of uh, what's best for you and your lifestyle. I never recommend timing the market based on mortgage interest rates or what's going on uh, with supply and demand in the real estate market. I always recommend if it's the right time for you to make a move into a new home, um, you also have to at that time make a decision whether you should rent or buy. So it's not really a matter of should you uh, move because of interest rates, should you buy a home because of interest rates. I think you should really carefully consider is buying a home the right lifestyle choice for you? Is it the right financial decision? If you if you put aside mortgage interest rates, um, would it still be the right decision for you? Of course, mortgage interest rates being higher as opposed to being lower makes it less favorable to buy versus renting. However, you have to look at the rental market and determine whether or not you can actually find the type of home you're looking for in the rental market. And if you can, and if you don't want um, to build equity, you're not concerned about that in the short term, and you would rather not deal with repairs and maintenance, um, and you don't mind being told that you have to move out if the landlord decides to sell, um, then maybe renting is the best choice for you. Certainly, if you're not sure where you wanna live uh, for the next few years or longer, renting is probably a better option for you. Buying a home and holding it long-term is still a good decision financially if that's the right lifestyle choice for you, if you're financially ready to do that. So it makes sense to talk to a financial advisor about that if you need to, or a trusted friend or colleague as well with experience in home ownership if you're new to it. Uh, but certainly I wouldn't make a decision of whether or not to buy a home based on mortgage interest rates. Um, certainly it makes your home less affordable if you're borrowing money to purchase it when the interest rates are higher, of course. But you do have the opportunity later if mortgage interest rates go down that you can always refinance later. We do expect that home prices are going to continue to rise over the next few years while you're waiting for mortgage interest rates to decrease. Maybe they decrease later this year, we don't really know, uh, but I don't think it makes sense to try to time your home purchase based on the mortgage interest rates or even the conditions in the real estate market. So whether you're considering buying or selling or doing both, I think it makes a lot of sense to kind of ignore the noise that you may be hearing in the news about interest rates and about the real estate market conditions. Just make a smart decision about whether renting or buying is best for you and whether or not you really need to move or whether you're really committed, uh, really wanting to make this move. How much do you really want to do this? Is it really worth it? Because it may be more expensive um, you know, than it was just a little while ago. If you have any questions that I can answer for you, whether you're buying or selling or doing both, or you just want some answers to your questions, you're not sure who to talk to, we'd be happy to help you here. Uh, you can certainly reach out, um, schedule a call through our website, again, 513flatfee.com, or you can always reach out, call or text at 513-497-8803. I'm Patrick Grosser with the 513 Flat Fee Real Estate Group at Fathom Realty.